Hey guys, Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me today for your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Sunday, October 11th, and the deck I have in my hands, I always show the deck at the beginning so you, you guys can see it. <laughs> anyway, um, so Sunday, October 11th, we're doing your daily tarot card reading to see what could possibly be happening in the collective energy for, in, for you guys. Um, feeling particularly eloquent this morning, so welcome to my jam. All right, so we're just going to see. I'm going to pull a couple cards, what's going on, what could happen for you, and how you can utilize that to your highest advantage. So anyway, guys, I have a plane going overhead, so we'll just shuffle a couple more times. Is it, Can you guys hear it? I live a little bit adjacent to the airport, so um, I'm used to it, but I don't know how it translates to the recordings that I do. But anyway what's going on for a Sunday and man my nose is itchy and when they the, what's that saying you're gonna kiss a fool but I just live with my dog so I guess it would be me so what's starting off here today for you guys is man my nose is itchy hold on are you asking yourself like did she go kiss herself in the mirror you know kiss a fool lol anyway back to the card we have the world card so this is a huge sense of accomplishment and after sort of the bogged down Meyer fest that you guys have been through this week with all these like wicked tarot card readings, like they're just yikes, slog fest, <laughs> you know? So this is feeling, oh, I did it, you know, kind of like that Ace Ventura where he's outside and he's standing there and he's like, oh, and all the animals are coming in and just finally you're in tune today. So that's amazing. I love seeing it, seeing that, the world card. And you could be seeing things that you've never seen before. As you come closer and closer into your, um, you know, unification with the universe, shall we say, and just really connecting with your team and spirit and, and feeling at one with the universe. So this card is really saying a lot. There's so much going on. Um, you know, anyway, I'm going to pull another card. I'm going to pull two cards. So there. And, you know, just as I was saying, you're you're feeling really in tune with your team and spirit. You have the Hierophant card here. So this is all kinds of magical, you know, it's just being woven around you. And, and you are feeling alive in probably next level. You've done yourself some really specific favors this past week, cutting people out of your life if they no longer serve you or dealing with them a different way, understanding that you are protected. And especially if you tuned into the um, daily tarot card that I did yesterday, which was recognition, understanding that you are being seen by the universe. And, you know, there is your team, your cheerleader, cheerleading team supporting you. So this is phenomenal. And the Hierophant is asking you to connect more closely to your guides, to your higher self so that you can see things that you probably missed before. Um, and then we have the Queen of Air, and I love her. I love her, and my nose is still absolutely itchy. I don't even know what's going on, but the Queen of Air does. She is so, like, streamlined into the universe. She's, like, so sure of herself, and she's got her spirit animal here, the owl, so you might want to check that out after the reading. This is an unstoppable, unstoppable energy with the Queen of Air and so self-assured. So that's what I feel like you guys are kind of shedding a layer and coming more into your own as we move into October. And this is a very, very powerful month, you guys. Um, there's so much going on. I really feel like you guys are hitting the next level and nothing's gonna drag you down i'm gonna pull another card here how many of you are like really consistent meditators and talk to your spirit guides or as if they're there and you know because they are you know and talk to your angels you should be doing that and saying thank you to them recognizing them to you know thank you for your support when you say your affirmations you should be working your gratitude steps and all of that too um, because it's going to make some really amazingly powerful changes for you. And I'm just going to do a deck cut here. And we have the Seven of Earth. 
everything being laid at your feet the way that you want it to, you know, when you start planning above where you are, you will get there. Hold on for a second. Itchy nose. So seven of earth here, you've got this little fairy coming in to help you out and giving you your own wings. So you're definitely, you know, about ready to let your wings spread so that you guys can fly higher. And there is a, a definite launching point. You probably this week just went, why am I doing this? You know, uh, what am I doing here? I, I deserve better than this. And just kind of shaking your head and like, how did I even get here? And I'm done. And I want to be in a different stratosphere. I like, I want to hit the next level, you know, so how can I get there? And how can my angels help me, you know, and they're sending you little fairies and sprites and, you know, just start listening, you guys, and have this absolute confidence with the Queen of Swords. I'm going to pull another card because I feel like there's some sort of ethereal mist around you guys, but there's something that is going to be right in front of you that's going to be really important. So let me just pull one more card. Five of air. So this is you being grounded and just letting go of everything, letting go of things that have been weighing you down, things that you don't have to care about anymore. Um, the five of air, <laughs> pardon moi, typically represented by a battlefield and swords being all over the place and yeah, you know, but you don't have to be that energy because it's not up to you. You're here to live your life like a ballerina and just sort of flit around and then, you know, skip up the stairs when you're ready to hit the next level and just see different things. So really release yourself today and like maybe dance around and sing and do something stupid and do something childlike and just really get in touch with that energy of what you cannot see because there are things that you can't see that are working for you oh, guys okay i'm gonna wrap it up and honestly i don't know what's going on with my nose so if somebody knows anything uh, about that like what does that mean is that a hidden spiritual meaning because i'll take it itchy nose like up the wazoo but anyway guys um have a great day do something silly like be your silly self Express yourself. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.